my advice to the listeners is i think we should be ready for future for any kind of viral infection and this is the perfect time to work on your body the final mortality is related to the undergoing obesity it's like a volcano waiting to erupt hi friends today we have with us dr manikam a respected doctor practicing in california usa fighting the battle against corona virus saving lives and keeping us safe thanks again so so doc- doctor in today's call we want to understand the relationship between obesity and corona virus so it's, it's a good question and i'm i'm so thankful that you guys are bringing this topic up um so just a brief uh, introduction about what i do that you know i see these patients on um, uh, ground reality um and uh, everybody knows that corona virus affects the lungs and uh, you know we do artificial breathing tubes so that we can support the lungs to get your um, uh, recovery going okay so the likelihood of a patient getting recovered from the corona virus infection is directly related to how good the immunity is yeah and unfortunately we are seeing patients over here who are very young like you know 40 years old who are actually having difficulty in coming out of this virus infection so on your on the internet and all the multiple links that people have seen they are mainly focusing on you know elderly people 60 plus diabetes heart disease and everything uh, i just want to focus on one thing that abdominal obesity has been considered as a very important risk factor uh, for okay. people who get infected with corona and they don't do well uh, mm-hmm. compared to a normal population and the main reason is that you know obesity is tightly linked with immunity problems um, and we can talk about that more uh, as you go okay, so why does obesity reduce immunity if it does yeah so you know um how i explain this is um you know like imagine everybody is asking me like what kind of supplements we can take you know can i take like vitamin c garlic onion i say you know you can take whatever you want as long as you have the supplement in your home okay if you uh, but the problem with that is you are just filling a big bucket with a hole at the bottom whatever supplement that you are putting in it's just going to go down the drain because the bottom immunity is not there with people with obesity so i would like the listeners to imagine obesity as a burning fire Okay. and uh, it's like a volcano waiting to erupt and uh, you know we are we are taking all these fast food and basically you are just dumping those fast food into the volcano and you are just waiting for it to erupt one day okay. and uh, what happens is whenever there is accumulation of fat tissue and that blocks the secretion of immune cells at the particular okay. time where you actually need it okay okay that's an interesting example so uh, so there's a <laughs> lot of talk about adding uh, adding stuff like haldi ginger garlic in our diet to boost immunity or taking chavan prash or taking couple of tablets is that enough to boost immunity or is there a need to reduce weight as well right you know like uh, i love chavan prash i <laughs> i grew up eating that every day um so you know i'm not against these products but i just wanted to emphasize that this alone will not supplement any kind of immunity especially against corona virus infection okay. it might or it might not work but studies have proven that weight loss have actually uh, worked to improve the immunity so it's always better to have a bird in hand rather than two yeah. in bush and doctor what do you think about vaccines when when can we expect a vaccine Yeah so you know that's a million dollar question and if i know the answer to that i will retire right away uh, <laughs> is there something we should be doing right now which should be in our hands which could be yeah. boosting your immunity losing weight to fight the disease is that a better yeah. approach or should we just You're totally right you know so as i said uh, this is something that we didn't expect right so we have unfortunately or fortunately we have lots of time in our hands yeah. and um, i think instead of uh, Uh, we have so much time that we have binge watched every movie in netflix and every movie in amazon prime <laughs> <laughs> so my advice to the listeners is i think we should be ready 
for future for any kind of viral infections. And this is the perfect time to work on your body. And uh, what I am very interested is that, you know, you make a lifestyle change um, and then work on a healthy lifestyle. And if you are obese or if your waist circumference is more than 90 centimeters, if you are a male, mm -hmm. this is the right time to cut down. I'm sorry, sit down and then think about what you could do to cut down that waist circumference. This is like a deposit in your mutual fund. It's going to make you give you excellent return 10 years down the road. Okay, great, great doctor. So any final tips for the listeners? Top three, four things that you, you can tell us what we should be doing right now. Okay, so um, number one, I want everybody listening to this, take an inch tape and measure around your belly button. Um, the first thing in the morning without a shirt on. And remember these two numbers, 80 centimeters and 90 centimeters. If you are a woman, if your belly button waist circumference is more than 80 centimeters, you are considered as obese, even though your weight is not above normal limit. Your weight is not abnormal. Same way for men, if it is more than 90 centimeters, you are considered as obese. And second point is obesity causes diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and eventually death. And the whole thing that we are trying to promote and we are trying to awareness is to stop seeing those GoFundMe pages on WhatsApp, on social media, mm. having a young family with a spouse dead because of obesity and leaving the young children without anybody, any support. So I don't want to see that anymore. So I want people to understand that the final mortality is related to the undergoing obesity right now. Thanks a lot, doctor. This was quite useful. And uh, thanks again for uh, putting a fight against the coronavirus and keeping us all safe. Thank you. Thank I'm you, Richard. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.